Hey guys, uh, today is Friday. Welcome to another episode of All About Music, by the way. Um, I'm going to be taking a look on iTunes and see what new stuff has dropped. Uh, we're going to go to Alternative first and see what kind of uh, alternative music we got. Uh, we won't be playing anything just because of, you know, copyright uh, problems. We're going to see what's interesting me. Okay. I'm going to check this out. This is The Things We Do by Foster the People. Uh, I want to see that. Mike Shinoda, definitely want to check out this. Uh, it's an instrumental album. I did watch uh, Austin Nation's review of that. We got uh, Gerard Way's new single. Um, I'm not a fan of him post-MCR, but I'll give it a listen just uh, in case. Beck has a new uh, remix, so that's interesting. I might check that out. We've got, uh, let's see, if Monsters and Men has a new single. Maybe, you know, that might be worth checking out. I will definitely add that to my wish list so I can keep track. Silver Sun Pickups, not a, not really my, my jam. Let's see what else we got in Alternative. Got some good stuff here. We got, uh, uh, let's see, what is it? Ellie King is a new one. Maybe in isolation. That could be could be interesting. Ellie King, right? She's got some good uh, good music out there. We're gonna skip the blues. Uh, we're gonna skip the children's music. We're gonna go on to uh, Christian and gospel. Uh, Elevation Worship does some good quality Christian music. Don't see anything there. We're going to move on uh, to comedy. Um, I do listen to everything, but I'm, I'm kind of hitting the highlights here. Nothing really in comedy that I'm kind of keeping up with. We're going to move on to country. Keep it rolling. Uh, anybody interesting? You guys know that the, uh, the chicks have changed their name, right? Uh, how could they have... Like, can't they come up with anything better than the chicks? I mean, that's the worst band name ever. Willie Nelson has a new album. I, uh, I'm going to check that out. I'm not going to add it because I've been meaning to get around to his entire discography. Same thing with Clint Black. I've already tackled his entire discography, uh, but I'll get back around to it. So here's some new hip-hop. You got the new one from Juice World. Um, who else do we have? Somebody that I would be... Nelly! Country Grammar Deluxe Edition. That's interesting. What kind of... Uh, ooh! Little Wayne feature. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, ooh! Got some instrumentals at the end of that. That could be a potentially good uh, Deluxe Edition there on uh, Nelly. It's Country Grammar. What an album that was. Takes me back. Little Wayne FWA. I definitely want to check that out. I'm not going to add it to my list because I, I, I know I know how to get back to it. So we're going to skip jazz for now. I, I you know I'm not I am not uh, just uh, you know for the things that I'm really looking for today. Let's do some metal. Uh, I got some Voy Voy Voidoid, Death, Night Demon, Lantern. I'm not seeing anything that's really jumping out. Uh, the Who. Not The Who, but The Who. How do you say it? The Who? That's, it's pronounced the same way. We're going to move on to Pop. Just skipping right over the reggae section for the moment for this video. Uh, My Morning Jacket. Wait a minute. Yeah, Rock. Okay. My Morning Jacket. Ooh! New Bon Jovi, that's interesting. American Reckoning, that eh, could be annoying, but interesting. Pete Yorn, I do like some Pete Yorn, so I'm going to add that to the list to check out later. Uh, let's see, Gerard Way again. Ellis Costello, uh, interesting artist there. I'm going to add him to my wish list. Grateful Dead's 50th anniversary, that's pretty cool. Uh, we got, who do we have here? I do not like whoever that is. Disturbed. Ooh, 20th, 20th, 
20 year anniversary. What do they got on there? They got Down with the Sickness, a bunch of live songs. Eh. Eh, who cares? Pink Floyd, what is this? Ooh, that's, that could be interesting. Yeah, I'll have to check that out. New Pink Floyd, that is pretty cool. I like the artwork on this, so I'm going to check out whatever this is. I uh, like Tom Morello, so I'm going to uh, listen to this. I'm pretty sure I've already heard that one. Got new Evanescence. I'm not, I'm not going to give it a shot right now. Some live Pink Floyd. You got Bulb. Theory of a Dead Man. Why is everybody releasing live singles all of a sudden? This is... I don't know. We're going to look at the singer-songwriter. See what's going on over here. Uh, you got Joshua Heilsop, Dan Kroll, uh, Ray Lamont de Blah. I know how to pronounce nothing. Soundtracks. I love some, some soundtracks. What do we got going on over here? And... Yeah, worldwide. Let's check out Worldwide. Hey, there was Hamilton. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. That was uh, some of the highlights. We can go to my. Uh, we can go back to my wish list, right? We, ooh, we could go to pre-orders. Yeah, let's look at uh, pre-orders. Shall we? Let's see what's uh, available for pre-order. No, it's not the chicks. That's unbelievable. What a stupid, stupid band name. Now, you know, I appreciate the thought uh, of the Dixie Chicks. I am glad that they made that uh, conscious decision. What, an explicit country album? Huh. Well, that's weird. So, we're going to see what, we're going to see what song it is. Oh, I got a Juliana Calm Down. Definitely got to check that out. I always am interested to hear cursing in country music. So you got a Katy Perry, the Evan, uh, uh, Killers, whatever happened to this album? Whatever happened to this? What happened about this? Ooh, new Seether. Here's the new Seether album. Pretty cool, right? Dangerous is pretty good. I like it. I'm gonna bookmark Dangerous. I've got a whole mixtape here that I can do. I'm excited about Alanis Morissette, Tim McGraw, maybe, hmm, interesting, we're going to see what all I got on my wish list, so I got Seether, The Chicks, Bon Jovi of Monsters and Men, a bunch of stuff. A bunch of stuff I'm going to check out, maybe review for you guys. You guys have a good night.